said, Facebook is really pivoting all its properties to be more like Snapchat. Facebook wants to be Snapchat. Like Snapchat has the better business model. Really, and there, I can, I mean, that's a very bold thing to say, but. Because stories Facebook, ads are better than feed ads in short? I think the or? ad, well, there's a lot of different things. Like you talked about uh, in terms of mental health, um, like the way you feel about things, but there's a, you could maybe think of it that way. Um, but, privacy but you stuff. said the business model of Snap is better. Why is that? Yeah, the business model. So the so kind of tying in those growth loops where you're using the camera and you're getting other people into the ecosystem with content creation. It's just a whole different format of uh, consuming a social product or and participating with a social product um, that I think is is just overall in terms of uh, having a, reaching a large audience and having a, a large network of people messaging each other back and forth. I just think it works a little better and it's more sustainable. Uh, so for example, I mean, we've seen the rise of TikTok. TikTok came out of nowhere. They're, they're just burning, they're burning billions of dollars on acquiring users. I, I don't know if it's going to work. I think they're kind of trying to become the next YouTube, like a mobile first version of YouTube. Uh, but when you think of it, TikTok is basically what a lot of people use Instagram and Facebook for. They just sit there and they just kind of consume things. TikTok's kind of like Vine. Really. And I think that's probably the best way to think. It's like a, a, a Vine that is a lot bigger and probably going to be sustainable just because they're going to figure they're going to have a larger base to attract advertisers and they're going to be able to, to bring in revenue in that way. Uh, so in terms of business model, so I mean, Facebook is trying to get rid of all these public feeds they're trying to push people into groups they're trying to push people into messaging because it's mm. it's harder to <laughs> to track the uh, effects that they have publicly on all these different things that they're getting slammed for and uh you know there's there's a lot of different criticisms you could have on on the, the public uh issues that facebook has brought forward and all these different um you know fake news that that whole issue and all the discussion around that topic if that would have all happened in private groups and in messages instead of in a public feed there wouldn't be as much public uh awareness of it really and i think that that's part of the reason why facebook wants to bring everything in but at the same time uh, kind of thinking about growth loops so if you post something to a feed let's say i'm on facebook i post something to my feed the only people that are going to see it are the people who open up Facebook and the algorithm decides they should see it. Or maybe some people have notifications on for my posts. If I'm in a group chat or I'm in a message with people, if I'm in a group chat of 20 people and I post something in the group chat, everyone gets a notification unless they turned off notifications for the chat. But I think in a lot of cases, people still have notifications on. And like if, if you send somebody a one-on-one -on -one message, they're going to get it. They're going to open it. The numbers look good from an advertising perspective. You're keeping your DAUs up. I mean, then, both Facebook and, and Snap, they're publicly traded companies. They need to have those numbers. Uh, they're, they're playing Wall Street's games. They, they have to keep those numbers up. I mean, you saw what happened to Snap when they didn't have the daily users growing at the same rate. They got absolutely crushed. I think the stock was down low point when it was at like $5. It was down like 